All right, I'm gonna attempt to show you how to extract an audio file that's been embedded in a PowerPoint presentation. And the first thing you wanna do is change the name of the file um, from a PPTX file to a zip file. So once you hit enter, it should change. It's gonna ask you this. Uh, just click use zip and you'll see it'll change to this strange little icon here. And uh, before you go any further, what you're gonna to wanna to do is download two programs and one is called VLC player so just search for VLC and uh, you'll find the first listing to be what you're looking for so just download that program and the next thing you're going to look for is something called the unarchiver tool so if you just search unarchiver it should also be the first thing that comes up looks like this so just download both of those tools because you'll need both to do this fix. Okay, once you have them downloaded, go back to your zip file, um, right click it, and you will see, go to open with, and you'll now see that the unarchiver is listed. So just click that. It'll do its business. And you'll see you'll have a new file here. So open up that file, and you'll go to PowerPoint, PPT, you'll go to media, and then you'll see all the media listed here. And these are all of the individual sound files for I think each of the slides. So if you open up media one and you've downloaded VLC, this is what VLC player looks like. And maybe you can hear the audio there. So once you end up, let me pause that. Once you end up um, at one of the PowerPoint slides that has uh, a corresponding Audio file, you just go in and click each of these and open them and then it'll play along. So you just listen to the sound through um, the VLC player and then you'll watch the PowerPoint through um, the PowerPoint player. Okay, hopefully this works. Good luck. Oh, also sometimes when I changed the um, name of the file from PPTX to zip, it didn't turn into this um, image. It just kind of stayed looking like PPTX. So sometimes you might just have to download the PowerPoint file again and then try changing the name again. Not sure why that happened, but it happened to me a few times. Okay, good luck.